Welcome, explorers of the ancient and the mysterious. Today, we embark on a journey through time, unveiling the secrets of towering monuments that have captivated civilizations for centuries. Brace yourselves as we dive into the world of ancient obelisks, majestic symbols of power, mystery, and cultural exchange. Have you ever wondered why these colossal structures stand tall in the landscapes of ancient Egypt, Rome, and beyond? What stories do they tell, and what mysteries do they hide? Obelisks, majestic structures that have withstood the sands of time, stand as ancient sentinels, silently narrating tales of civilizations long gone. The inception of obelisks dates back to the reign of Pharaoh Sneferu, who ruled during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom, circa 2614 to 2589 BC. The Fourth Dynasty, known for its pyramid-building pharaohs, surulers like Sneferu experimenting with architectural forms. The early attempts at obelisks likely laid the foundation for more refined designs in subsequent reigns. One of the earliest examples is the unfinished obelisk found in a granite quarries of Aswan believed to be commissioned by Hatshepsut's father, Thutmose I. The evolution of obelisk design reached a pivotal moment during the reign of Pharaoh Sinus Ret I of the 12th dynasty. Quarried from solid granite, ores and stone blocks, skilled artisans meticulously parved obelisks using copper and bronze tools. The construction of obelisks involved intricate processes, from quarrying massive stones to the detailed parving of hieroglyphic inscriptions. The colossal size of these monoliths, some exceeding 100 feet in height, presented formidable engineering challenges. Transporting these monoliths from quarries to their final destinations showcased the Egyptians' mastery of logistics. The Nile River became a water highway for these colossal structures, which were carefully floated on boats before being skillfully erected at their intended locations. Obelisks held profound religious significance, primarily dedicated to the sun Badara. Their distinctive shape, tapering towards the sky, symbolized the sun's rays, emphasizing the divine connection between earth and the heavens. Artisans meticulously parved reliefs depicting religious rituals, offerings, and symbolic imagery related to the sun Badara. The carvings transformed the obelisks into visual narratives of religious and royal significance. Obelisks were placed in major temple complexes, especially those dedicated to sun deities like Rhea or Amun-Ra. They served as focal points for religious rituals, ceremonies, and processions. The presence of obelisks in temples emphasized the connection between the earthly and divine realms. Obelisks were often placed in pairs at the entrances of temples or tomb complexes, symbolizing duality and balance. In funerary contexts, they could serve as markers for the sacred precincts and pathways to the afterlife. The inscriptions conveyed the idea that the obelisk, adorned with divine invocations, acted as a guardian for the pharaoh and a kingdom. It symbolized a protective presence, warding off malevolent forces, and ensuring the safety of the ruler. The tall and imposing structure of the obelisk itself may have been seen as a defensive symbol, 
providing a visual representation of the ruler's strength and a kingdom's resilience. The hieroglyphic inscriptions were believed to possess magical qualities. Each symbol and word carried inherent power, and their arrangement was carefully designed to create a harmonious and potent combination. The magical purpose was to influence the spiritual and cosmic realms positively. The inscriptions seemed to contribute to the continuity of Mott. The ancient Egyptian concept of cosmic order and balance. By invoking deities, the pharaohs sought to align the kingdom with the divine forces that maintained cosmic harmony. The inscriptions sought not only physical protection, but also the well being of the pharaoh on a spiritual and psychological level. It was a holistic approach. Acknowledging the interconnectedness of the ruler's physical and metaphysical states, invoking blessings aimed to create an environment of harmony, justice, and benevolence in a kingdom. The pharaoh's actions, guided by divine favor, were expected to contribute to the prosperity of the land. Hieroglyphic inscriptions on obelisks often lauded the pharaoh emphasizing their divine rule, accomplishments, and virtues. The language used was symbolic and eloquent, portraying the ruler as a revered and powerful figure. Inscriptions recounted key historical events, factories, or milestones in a pharaoh's reign. This served to immortalize the ruler's achievements for posterity and reinforce the legitimacy of your rule. Pharaohs erected obelisks to commemorate significant events, military victories, or important milestones in your reigns. The inscriptions on obelisks often highlighted the ruler's accomplishments, serving as a form of propaganda to solidify their legacy. Inscriptions were strategically placed on various sides of the obelisk, ensuring visibility from different angles. This allowed for a comprehensive representation of the pharaoh's legacy and achievements. The layout of hieroglyphs adhered to principles of symmetry and balance, contributing to the overall aesthetic appeal of the obelisk. The Romans, inspired by Egyptian obelisks, transported several of them to Rome. These obelisks, repurposed for different locations, continued to symbolize the grandeur of ancient Egypt and were often associated with imperial power. Public spaces around the world featured these structures, connecting the present to the grandeur of ancient civilizations and highlighting the enduring legacy of these towering monoliths. <laughs>